Hey everyone, welcome to another review, and here's my review for the movie The Adam Project. The Adam Project stars Ryan Reynolds, Mark Ruffalo, Jennifer Garner, Katherine Keener, and Zoe Saldana, and this movie is directed by Sean Levy, a director I love. I'm glad Sean Levy's getting a lot of praise now. I've always said he's underrated since like seven years ago. I love the Night at the Museum movies. I love Real Steel. It's an underrated film. This is where I leave you. Very underrated film. He's done a lot of episodes of Stranger Things. He's He did Free Guy last year. Now it's this is his second collaboration with Ryan Reynolds. Really enjoyed Free Guy. Now The Adam Project, a f fun sci-fi action adventure movie about uh, a guy named Adam. He go, he's from the year 2050, and he goes back into the, our time of 2022, sees his 12-year-old self, and he needs his help to put an end to time travel, because time travel exists, and they need to put an end to time travel, and they need to go back to 2018 to talk to their father to end time travel. But there's this evil woman played by Catherine Keener, and she wants to put a stop to them because... Time travel is what gave her power and stuff. So that's the gist of The Atom Project without spoiling too much. The Atom Project. I love this movie. It was great. <laughs> yeah, uh, go figure. Uh, I enjoyed this movie. I enjoyed Free Guy a lot last year. That was a really good good movie. I enjoyed this more than Free Guy. I, I thought this was a fun movie. I'm glad we still get movies like this. Movies that are meant to be like reboots or remakes or spawn of like other things and stuff. And it's not like a Marvel film or anything like that. It is just a f fun movie. Just a fun blockbuster you can watch and have a good time with. I thought that was Ghostbusters Afterlife. Even though yeah, it is like a sequel to the Ghostbusters, but... I thought that movie, the reason that was like one of my favorite films last year, because it was just, it was joyful to watch. It was just pure joy. And I just, it had a smile on my face the whole time watching it. Same with this movie almost. I was smiling, having a great time watching The Atom Project. I loved Ryan Reynolds in this movie. I thought his chemistry with his younger self in the movie was fantastic. I, I, I enjoy him. I think he's a great action star and a great comedian. When he does hit, he can miss sometimes, but he was great. Mark Ruffalo was very good. Uh, Jeffrey Garner. Um, Catherine Creener, I will talk to him about her in a, in a sec, but the movie has got good visuals. The action kicks a lot of ass. There's funny moments. It's just, it's, it's just a good entertaining film. If you watch this movie and you just want a fun action comedy movie about time travel, you can't get that, man. Like, this is it's just fun. It's just sheer popcorn entertainment. Um, is there plot holes? Yeah. It's, when you get a time traveling movie, you're gonna have plot holes, and this movie is no exception. The movie also has one scene with very bad CGI with Catherine Keener. Catherine Keener, she's a generic bad guy, but like you get to see her past self, and it's done CGI. It's done the uh, Peter Cushing way of Rogue One. And it doesn't look good at all. It's very noticeable. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that was that was bad. <laughs> that was the only thing I legit say it was very bad. Like, was, that CGI was pretty terrible. But other than that, I guess it was a good time. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this movie without, like, spoiling too much. Just, it's always the Donna's in the movie, too. She's good. Like, the cast is having fun, and I'm just having fun with them. It's... It's enjoyable. Uh, it, it, it's refreshing to see a movie that doesn't have, like, forced politics in it or, you know, tries to be this franchise or anything. It just tries to make it an enjoyable story. And that's what it is. There's even some really hard-hitting emotional moments, especially with, like, the character Adams and their father. Like, all that's good. They even have, there's a touching moment with the mom. And, like, there's some really good, genuinely touching, emotional moments. That I was like, wow, this is good. Like, it's actually affecting me and it's hating me. I'm laughing. I'm getting emotionally attached. I'm almost crying in some moments. Like, I don't feel like, I don't ever get these feelings watching movies nowadays. So, this is exciting stuff. So... Good job, Adam Project. And I know so many people are going to... There's going to be people watching this movie, and they're going to be like, oh, that was just a silly, stupid 
action movie or like, wow, this is the movie you love so much. Like, oh, okay. That just goes to show you people's enjoyment on certain films. It's all subjective. Just certain films affect certain people different ways. Like Turning Red, everyone's loving and I couldn't stand it, but Adam Project is getting just okay reviews and I really love this movie. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would have swapped those two ratings on Rotten Tomatoes, but when does Rotten Tomatoes get anything right nowadays? But whatever. Adam Project, I'd recommend it. So, in the comment section below, please tell me. Oh, I didn't give it a rating. <laughs> uh, I gave it an 8.7 out of 10. There we go. So, in the comment section below, please tell me what is your. Uh, what is your opinions on the Adam Project? Do you like this movie more than Free Guy, or did you think Free Guy was a better movie? Let me know in the comment section below. Comment below. Let me know. And as always, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and join the dark side.